Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for April 1st through the 8th. This is for the sign of Aquarius. Oh, so you guys could be having some power struggles, okay? You could be having some power struggles, but you know your, your intuition is spot on, okay? So don't deny your intuition. It's giving you the answers that you seek. All right. Trust your intuition at this time in regards to the, this conflict that is going on in your life. Jeez, some curl the cards are falling out like crazy. You guys are, are standing strong. You're hanging in there. You may be growing weary. You may be growing weary, but you're gaining strength during this time. So something is going on that is, is, giving, is teaching you strength. Okay? All right. There could be some sort of obsession here. This is the Four of Pentacles. Somebody could be holding on to something that doesn't serve them. Okay. Now this doesn't have to be you. It could be somebody you're dealing with. Let's see what it. Oh, there's some. A, a, there, beware of false beginnings here. Your intuition. Use your intuition in regards to a choice because you are going to be presented with a couple of choices here. This is choices, okay? And you will be called to really think twice about your decision because there will be consequences for each choice that you make. Okay, be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. Okay, follow your intuition. Just saying. The wheel is turning in your favor. You, there's some sort of destiny here. And there is also self-love. And taking the next step. So many of you are, are really trying to come up with the correct path this is what this choice is this is exactly what it is you're coming up with the the, the right solution to overcome the obstacles and ta and challenges the conflicts <coughs> that are keeping you someplace that you don't want to be okay you're coming up with a plan that's what's happening you're coming up with with um how you're going to step outside of your comfort zone Either way, there's destiny here with the Wheel of Fortune. There is a change of course here. You guys are changing your path. That's what's going on. And in order to do that, you know, self-love is, is what is needed to do it, is that you have to follow your own path. I feel like there is one, one um, spot where you're at that it's what you know. This is what I know. This is solid. Okay, solid. It's comfortable. And the obstacle and the challenge to that is... It's comfortable. It's what I know. But like I said, be, pre be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. It may be what you know, but it may not be what makes you happy. Okay? So I feel like this is this right here, this, this seven of cups is usually um, money or love or finances or love or uh, stability or love. You know what I mean? It's usually something. Love is usually one of the options. Okay? Do you choose love? Self-love, or do you choose the other option? That's what this card typically is. And be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. If you stay here, where yes, it's solid and stable, but there's not love, then hey, that's your choice, right? But you will live with the consequences of that choice. Here, if you follow your intuition and follow your love, follow your self-love, you know, you will... prevail okay because what is happening here is that you are gaining spiritual strength through this process of self-love okay what's happening here is that the wheel of fortune which is destiny destiny is calling that's what's happening what are you gonna do Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. You are receiving the hands of fate. You are receiving a lucky break. Yes, you might have to make some compromises. You might have to let go of some things. But...
It's time to take the next step. It's time to step into your future with faith and trust. It's time to stop playing games. This is a two of pentacles. It is time for you to make the decision that makes you happy. It's time for you to bring balance back to your soul. So Aquarius, I feel like this is a week of you did making a decision. The decision, the answer, is inside of you. I love myself. Enough to take the next step through the new door. So I feel like this week is a week of stepping into the unknown and allowing your intuition and spiritual strength to guide you. I'm going to get you one extra card, Aquarius, just because I feel like it. I feel like you guys have a, a serious choice to make with the Seven of Cups. Beware of false beginnings. Beware of, of illusions and confusion. Okay? Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. You are being offered a chance to change your course. This is the wheel of karma, the wheel of fate. It's a completion. It's the end of one phase in your life where yes, there was stability, but there was also obstacles and challenges. You're being offered the, the ability to change the course right now but the choice is yours. Are you strong enough? Follow your intuition. Follow yourself. Soul power. Always remember, you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence. And you have unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. Follow yourself. Follow your soul. Nobody else's. Talk to you later, Aquarius.